Welcome back. It's time to focus once again on your money. It's Wealth Wednesday. Neil Marty and Senior Investment Advisor with TD Wealth is here today. How's it going? Good. A little cool? Well, you know, we're, we're heading into double-digit warmth for uh, most of next week. Right. Well, spring could come. Golf could come. <laughs> Golf come on, could let's come. go. Today we want to talk about a new topic for you. Uh, if you share a bank account with your parent to help them with their financial responsibilities, this is a topic you want to talk about because there are some new rules uh, or things to be aware of nowadays moving forward. So what are these new rules? Well, they're bare trust rules is what they are. Bear and if you rules. have a joint account, um, they, you could very well fall into this category where you now have to declare these with CRA and with the federal government. Um, is it common for people to have accounts with their parents? It, it is, yeah. We run across this quite a lot, especially with, um, you know, just people concerned over what's, you know, making sure there, there's nobody taking advantage of mom and dad's bank account situation. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of... Um, a lot of kids will go on their parents' bank account as they get older, uh, helping them pay their bills monthly. But, you know, this bear account situation has definitely kind of come to the forefront here now in 2023. Yeah. And um, you do have to do some or some tax reporting on this now in terms of what's called the T3. So, you know, there are, it, it's kind of been around in the background, but now it's uh, the CRA is definitely focusing a little bit more on it here now, starting in 2023. So should we should we talk more about the bear trust then? Yeah, let me get the definition proper here for us. But it's basically it's a uh, it's a trustee and a beneficiary relationship. So it's a uh, bear trust is essentially a situation where you have one person whose name is on legal title or le or on the on the account, and they hold that for the benefit of another person. Okay. So you know it's. Um, Again, it, 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 big words, broad definitions, Yeah. but it does actually kind of matter now, or it's going to matter in the future here going forward if you're in this type of relationship with, with, maybe, um, with, with maybe a minor child or with maybe um, your parent, or, or depending on where you are in the right. situation, right. in the family tree. I'm sure there's some different situations that, uh, that are in place when it comes to a bear trust and this type of account. What, what types of situations are we talking about? Well, like a joint bank account is definitely the most, okay. you know, the, that, that's kind of the hot button topic, or a joint investment account, more in my terms, you know, if, that, if that's the case with, a, with, with an elder or with a, a minor child. Uh, another situation is if, if you're on title of a property for the you know, clear indications of kind of some planning purposes down the road to transfer a property from one uh, generation to another generation to avoid some transfer taxes or some yeah. transfer titling. Uh, that again is a bear trust situation. And, um, and holding property for a minor child um, is also another situation depending on if the child can't make the decisions properly because they've been given assets or, or, or accounts, uh, the, the parent uh, then may also have to make this declaration now that this is a considered a bear trust and a T3 is required. Wow. So what rules have changed around all of this then? I don't know if the rule has changed. It's just that, again, I, like I said, the CRA is now focusing a lot more on this and they're wanting to get a, a pulse on kind of where these relationships exist, what type of accounts does this cover. So this is kind of the start of the first year of this. Um, I don't know if there's a grace period on this, but it's definitely, <laughs> this is kind of your year to kind of divulge it and kind of put it on the books, if you want to call it like that. Yeah. And then uh, in future, it will become a little bit more narrow in focus and it will become a little bit clearer on what actually is considered a bear trust. Right now, it's kind of very broad. It's a broad net. Yeah. But it's going to become a lot clearer as the years go on here now. So declare it, but uh, what else What else do you need to do? Well, you got to talk to your accountant about this for sure. Yeah. Uh, just to say, hey, what about this or what about this situation? You know, I've had numerous phone calls about this and, and emails back and forth with clients. Does this qualify? Does this Is this part of a bear trust, Neil? So again, talking to your accountant is very important on this. Um, if you don't, there's penalties now. There, there's going to be penalties on this. And, wow. they get, and they get pretty substantial down the road here on this. So... Again, I think a lo more information on this is, is better with your, with your local CPA than not. All right. Neil Marty is the Senior Investment Advisor with TD Wealth. Definitely given us a lot to think about today. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Good Thanks. talking to you. Thanks. That's Chat News for today. We are back at 5 with all the latest. Thank you very much for watching.